right. All right, what's up, people? Uh, this is Troy from Quad Standard Labs, and uh, I want to do a quick talk about batteries and the selection of batteries uh, for uh, your Cinelifter. Uh, here I've got a Sicario, our you know new one-of-a-kind uh, complete package, if you would, from Shindrones and, and Gab that we're building uh, and producing. Uh, we get lots of questions about batteries for those, but also for Thick. Um, and Thick is more of a DIY solution that's out there in the public. And there's been lots of people that have shared their information, including us and how we build and all the different techniques. Uh, and one of the questions that often comes up is, do I use one battery uh, with you know whatever plug or whatever you want to do, uh, or do I use two smaller batteries put together? Um, and and there's a couple of different reasons why you might do one or the other. Um, there is a, a a situation in which I, I suppose we could recommend two batteries. Um, but before we do any of this and talk about this, I just want to preface a little bit of this with. Um, we've built at Quad Centered Labs over 15 Cine lifters uh, that were not Sicario. Uh, and we've sent them all around the world. I've got builds that are in Japan, Malaysia, uh, Australia. I got some in South America and I've got some up north in North America and I've got, or, you know, in Canada. And we've got some here in the United States, um, as well as Russia and some other countries too. So uh, we've put a lot of these Cine lifters in the air. Um, of all of them, we've had exactly one crash of one of our builds. Um, that actually, I lied, two, <laughs> Raphael, two crashes. Um, both crashes were pretty much identified as stuff that were completely out of our, you know, our build situation. So it wasn't the build, uh, it was something else outside of that. So when I'm speaking of what I suggest and what I, you know, what I recommend, it's because I recommend and I suggest, and this is how we basically sell these at Quad Standard Labs. Uh, and we've seen no issues to date uh, doing it the way that we do, and as well as, you know, providing people the same information. So here's the deal. If you can use one battery and one battery is not going to be an issue for you for traveling or whatever, one battery of, of the biggest and most capable battery you can find. And what I mean by that is there's lots of stats on batteries, uh, milliamp hours, which is your capacity, your C rating, which is your discharge, which is one of the main ones. Uh, and, and if you're really getting into the depth of what your batteries are really capable of, uh, the watt hours are what you're really also looking at. And, and the great thing about the batteries we use is we use Thunder Power. And Thunder Power is very transparent. <coughs> Sorry. They're very transparent about their stats. Um, and you can go on their website and really search for batteries that have the optimum wattage that you need. And without getting into all the math about how to figure out how much wattage you need, uh, we can tell you this, what you do need is you need a lot of wattage. You need the most wattage you can and you need the most sustainable and, and well-balanced, healthy pack that you can for these drums. Um, the idea that you could use two batteries in place of one really good battery is a bit to me thinking the wrong direction and, and, and ignoring a lot of risk. Um, the one reason, I already said I would tell you this, the one reason I can see for using two batteries is for travel. If travel is an issue where batteries are getting to a size for wherever you are or whatever country you're in, that you can't carry these batteries with you on a plane and, and it becomes too much, um, then I definitely could see why you might want two batteries. That being said, you're probably going to want to use two batteries of literally the highest capacity possible that gets you under whatever regulation it is. Um, because again, at the end of the day, the number one issue that we see is bad batteries. Um, now, if you take a bad battery and you put it in just a traditional quad, um, you usually can see pretty quickly that it's a bad battery. Uh, the moment you go to arm and you start to fly, you'll see that the, the, the battery sag reaches a point to where it just, it's, 
it's outside of the norm, right? So you go from 4.2 to like 3.7 immediately. You know that you've got a bad battery uh, usually. You can usually look at the battery and the health of the cells and you'll figure out why. Usually one cell in particular is weaker than the others and that's a, a big common issue with batteries as they, as they start to degrade. Uh, you damage one cell and essentially all of the cells suffer because as that cell gets drop down in voltage, all of the other cells get stressed. And now a six cell battery is basically a five and a half cell battery and it's trying to push six cells worth. So even if it's a large capacity battery and that happens, you're in trouble. Um, if a cell fails even on a one single large capacity battery, uh, it's going to pretty quickly start causing power loss and power sag across the whole platform. And especially when we get into lifting, which with the thick and with Sicario in particular, we're talking about platforms that are optimized to be as small and, 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 and uh, efficient as possible. So effective as possible. So everything about those two platforms are, let's try to keep it as compact, which means that we need more power because we're trying to lift with somewhat underpowered hardware. Uh, it's not really underpowered. It's again, it's powered for what we're trying to achieve. Uh, but at the end of the day, if I have two small batteries, here's the deal. If I've got two, this is a 5,000 milliamp. Let's say I've got two 2000 milliamp 6S batteries and I've got those strapped into thick and I go to take off <clears throat> and at some point one of the batteries just fails. Like, it, I don't know, let's say, let's say it, it completely just dies, like just all cells just go flat somehow. All of the power has now again, like it's shifted to pulling from that other battery that is okay. And it's going to immediately basically just be discharged because it's only half the capacity you need to fly for, let's say three and a half, four minutes. And let's say this all happened after you were in the air for 45 seconds to 60 seconds. So you've already wasted 30 to 40% of your batteries, one just crapped itself and disappeared on you. And now you've got 40, 60% of a 2000 milliamp 6S and you're carrying total three grand, three kilograms of, of, of weight in the air. And it's not going to fly back home. You're not going to have two minutes to figure out what to do and get it back. You're going to probably Honestly, within about 45 seconds or less, you're going to see that second battery fail. And if that were to occur, and let's say that this happened while, I don't know, just like fly, like while like a return home or, you know, a rescue or something, a GPS rescue, you know, again, if you triggered a GPS rescue with one battery pack out of two functioning, it's going to smoke that battery, dude. I mean, the, the GPS rescue is going to do everything it can to basically get up in the air. And as it does, it's just going to just that battery's dead. It's going to basically you're going to see it go up and then you're going to see it come down. I, I don't know. I mean, that's that's my reasoning and my, my thinking behind choosing battery packs that are, are, are effective for what you're trying to do. So what batteries do we use or do we recommend? Well, this is a 5000 milliamp thunder power rampage i definitely recommend thunder power rampage batteries over all other batteries i've used uh the cnhls the tattoos gins ace whatever uh none of them meet the the higher discharge rates that i find on these uh 3000 milliamp 3300 milliamp packs in these compared to the same size in a gins ace and i get about 30 percent more flight time battery sag is almost non-existent uh so 3,300 to 4,400, somewhere in there uh, for thick, typically. Uh, for Sicario, depending on what your payload is, you could go with that 4,000-ish to somewhere in the 5,000 uh, milliamp range here. Uh, so this is a 5,000 milliamp 6S, uh, and this is really what my go-to battery for Sicario is. So, you know, again, lots of options out there. Um, the last kind of bit that I just want to throw in, um, I see people mention the word redundancy a lot um, with batteries and ESC power. And I, I, I have somebody to blame for this. And <laughs> Paul, 
It's all on you, Nurk. Um, dog, yeah, Paul made a video uh, early on about detailing his thick build. And I think in that video, he mentions his reasoning for how he wired his. And I think he mentions the word redundancy. Again, theoretically, it makes sense that having a second battery could provide some additional redundancy. But when you really look at it, you're splitting the, the overall wattage of those batteries in half, which means that each individual set of cells just can't perform the same as they could on, if they were one bigger manageable cell that was rated higher. Um, and then number two, again, having multiple batteries um, just kind of puts you in that split section. So, I mean, it, there's no real redundancy because any redundancy in power is going to be a controlled crash probably at that point. Um, but I get it and I understand where he's coming from and I'm not calling him out for it. I'm just making fun of it. Um, so yeah, so redundancy, again, at the end of the day, I think what we're talking about here is I recommend and Quad Standard Labs recommends that you choose the biggest, most powerful packs you can. Um, they're going to cost more. But <laughs> we're talking about something that's carrying a camera that's pretty pricey. So uh, let's not end up with those things on the deck and let's get the right battery packs, all right? If you need any help finding the right battery packs, uh, we do have a lot of batteries listed on our website at quadcenterlabs.com. Uh, check it out. You can actually get multiple batteries uh, with different lengths of cable, depending on how you like them. Uh, and we can get those sent out to you. Oh, last bit of tidbit information. These actually can come interconnected and I need to add that to my site. Interconnection means two 3S batteries that you connect together as a full 6S cell when you're ready. Uh, this could get you around the idea of having to travel with larger cells. Uh, this means that when you disconnect those two wires, it becomes two 3S batteries. I know what you're thinking, Troy, you just told us. No, what I told you was not to run two parallel batteries. Running two 3S in series is what a 6S battery is. So interconnection is how you could solve your traveling issues. So uh, we can get that done for you. Again, it's just two wires that come together right here and you can disconnect them. They're just banana clips. Uh, so fly safe, fly smart. Just fly. Peace.